Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Over here, we do things real. Nothing is aesthetically pleasing. There's no white backgrounds. <laughs> There's no white backgrounds. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to be doing um, some like things I never really would have thought I would be doing. Let me go get a tattoo real quick. I'm getting the kids fingerprints tattooed on me and I will show you guys exactly where I'm getting it because it's like a very dark place and it's a place where like it's just negative so I'm gonna go and get that situated and I will let you guys like I said I'll show you guys what I'm talking about and you'll get a better understanding right now it is 12 34 and my appointment is for one o'clock and it's gonna be about 20 minutes away so my time management is horrible, as you guys know. <sighs> I wish you guys like when I wear them, but <laughs> I look a hot mess. All right, hold on. Let me show you guys how. Let me show you how hard it was to get these kids' fingerprints. First of all, I had to go to Michaels and get the little ink thing, and I thought it'd be easy, like just press it, you know, fingerprints. But no, it wasn't. Let me show. You. So, what? What is that? What? What is that? Then we did a whole bunch over here, right? Then we did a whole bunch over here. And then Gray is like horrible at it. Then we got Amaya. Like, I'm just like, bro, why can't we just do this? It's so simple. Well, I thought it was so simple, but it's not. Let me make sure I'm, I got everything. At this point in my life, y'all should know that I do not drive. Derek is driving me there. Um, and like I was saying before, I don't know if I finished my thought, but the lady does tattoos a different way. She, what's the way she does the tattoos? Do you know what it's called? It's like dot, um, dot, like pokes or something. I don't know. Pokes something. Straight. She like pokes. I'm kind of nervous about that because I feel like it's fingerprints are very tedious, and for her to like poke it, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <sighs> this is the first time I'm kind of nervous about. It. Getting a tattoo. Oh, I think. Yeah, I think it was like this. Why is the seat all the way back like this? How do you do it? Oh my gosh! It's giving me like an ab workout. <laughs> Finally, getting this covered up. If you know, you know. Right? If you know, you know. It's kind of ugly. Really? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Sorry. How is it? So it's not bad at all. This feels way better than the other one. Yeah. Wow. You're not even making a face. Look at you. What? I said you're not I even making a face. I gave birth like 3,000 times. Well, <laughs> So I just finished getting the tattoo. It's right here. You can't really see. I'm gonna have to show you guys in a different angle or whatever. It doesn't hurt at all. Just covered it up. But right now I'm here with Derek getting Grayson early from school. Hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. Hey. How you doing? What's happening? Ouch! Oh my gosh. Are you? You okay? Yeah. Are you happy? Um, you that got you early? Yeah. You got me in. When I was in speech, you got me in speech. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you were just in speech? Yeah. Boy, put on your seatbelt. Yo, <laughs> What you doing? You look like you're on a beat belt on a shirt. What? Look, look at my, look at my face. 
Do I look nice or no? Kind of looks like your eyes are watered. So what about my face? Does he look pretty? Fine. Do I look pretty? Yes or no? Yeah. He said fine. No. <laughs> no? But I got my tattoo. You can't really see it from here, but it is Mommy. their fingerprints with the birth dates oh. on it. Mm -hmm. Were you scared your fish was dead? Yeah. Oh no, was just my gosh. The other day, Grace fish died right in front of us. <laughs> you want to tell them? You want to tell the camera what, what happened? No, you say it. 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 No, you say it. You say it. No, you say it. How do you feel about? How do you feel about your fish passing away? Actually, um, do you care or not? Not really. Daddy was putting his mouth on the fish. Huh? <laughs> was Daddy putting his mouth on the fish? What fish? The one, your goldfish that just died. If y'all saw my my FaceTime series, then you would know that I think I might have ADHD. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just everywhere. Like, I was just talking to you guys and I just started fixing my makeup. Whatever. It was really weird. But yeah, what she did was um, she didn't use the regular machine. She like, she like dipped a little needle in ink and then she like, oh, she poked it into my skin. Um, the only place that I ever saw it was, saw it, like, get done or whatever. It was just, like, when I was watching, like, YouTube or something, and it was, like, in India or something like that. It's when I never get nervous. So, when it comes to getting nervous, when you have PNES and your anxiety, whatever, you overthink. You think everything that could possibly go wrong. And I just kept thinking in my head, like, this pain is probably going to make me have a seizure. What the F am I doing? Because whenever I get stress or have anxiety I have a seizure but the super con I knew one of y'all were gonna come in I need charger thing huh I need a charger thing like a, a butt no not the booty the um the like this part that sticks out oh uh, I don't know what sucks for you Alright, I don't even know where I left off, but I forgot I was going to tell you guys why I got that tattoo. Um, it's Like I said, it's really deep and dark, and I wanted to change it into something positive and bright and loving. So, when I had Amaya, I had post-prime depression really bad. But back then, which was like 12 years ago, I think, post-prime depression wasn't talked about as much. And like, you know, how the hormones change and like... It's really serious. Like, you would always hear about moms who would, like, do crazy things to their kids and, and themselves, but everybody was just kind of like, why would they do something like that? But I understood why now, but back then I didn't know. Um, I was going through so many changes, and it, my hormones were all over the place. So when I was pregnant with Amaya, Derek went into the army, um, and then, let me go back. So me and Derek got married. Then he was going into the army or he was in like training or something. Then I got pregnant with Amaya. So I was pregnant with Amaya, just getting married. And then he got stationed in Georgia. So then I had to move away to Georgia while I was pregnant and away from everyone. Everything I knew, I've never lived with like a guy before. Everything was just different. Um, and then because he was in the army, I was home alone 95% of the time from 5 a.m. So 6 a.m. Sometimes he wouldn't come home for the next day, depending on if he had to like do duty, like to do the gates or whatever. I don't know their terminology and like go into the field, stuff like that. But so because of that, the placement of the tattoo is right where I decided to cut myself like an idiot. Now, I'm not saying people who cut themselves are idiots, but for me, I was an idiot. And if you do cut yourself, I would highly recommend you go talk to someone and really get that you know mindset out of your mind that you feel like you have to cut yourself to like release pain and stuff like that because it's you don't need to mark up your beautiful body and, and stuff like that like get it out talk to someone um i'll leave a description i'll leave a description i'll leave a link down below 
in the description box of places you can talk to, people you can talk to, suicide hotline, all that stuff. Going to the emergency room is also a good option if you feel like you might like want to cut yourself. Um, somebody there can like talk you through it and there's so many places you can read out, reach out to your friends, family. Da -da -da. I know it's hard to talk about when I was telling the tattoo artist what, like why I did it. Um, she, like I looked at her arm and she had cuts too, but hers went all the way around. Oh my God, I'm telling all her business and I'm pretty sure Derek recorded her face. Whatever. So I cut myself I think it was three times um, I don't know if you can see it so this is like one and then there was two underneath here that she covered up so well so so well uh, a little bit you can kind of see one here and then there's one there and I chose fingerprints for a reason so that there's like lines and then it also represents my kids saved me on these birth dates, their fingerprints, their blueprints, their life literally saved me. And I'm such, an, I'm in such a better place now because of them. And I'm also going to get another tattoo and that's really going to represent how much I care and love for my kids. I'm, I'm getting all choked up thinking about it because ah, that was such a dark time. And now I'm like, okay. Um, so yeah, that's my little bit of a story and I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time guys be safe out there if you have pds be safe but live your life but be safe okay love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye you found it oh. <laughs> it went crazy that was crazy how'd it go upside down mm. oh that's how you make it upside down whoa <laughs> Well, that's my life. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed it, because I know I did. <laughs>